same thing, that there is a fundamental weakness in the translation of the time is, just like we discovered in the Parmenides. And what does that mean? See, like, um, let, let me just go over one part. One of the big mysteries is um, Not know, not know, understand. <clears throat> now, whatever that thing is called the self, see, how is it the self related to the soul. Now, the, the interrelationship between these, right, is, is essential to figure out, to try to understand. Right. So, uh, And then, you see, how do these two relate to one another? How do they relate to one another? Is it possible that we can see something going on in the time is that will help us understand this. Now, <clears throat> um, when he's going to take the soul. We're going to take a look at the paragraph, that's all. But you see, this is the idea that's going on here. Um, this is Usia, that property that turns upon itself and it's the principal dynamic, right? That is the principal, principal dynamic of three, the brilliant light of being, because that's what it is. So. But this is a, it, it's not divisible into parts, so it, it's a, 
unitary oneness. But he's going to bring it together and mix another kind of usia together, which can be broken up into parts. So we can call it partable, impartable. Now, he mixes these two together and the whole discussion of how they come together that it finally becomes a mixture. Now the word mixture doesn't fit right? because mixture is like salt and pepper. They can be mixed together but each remains what it is in themselves. This is something new that comes into existence by the combination of these two. So really it's not a mixture as much as we can call it a compound or whatever. A solution? Pardon? Is it a solution? Pardon? Solution. Who? Solution. Solution? Yes, yeah, isn't that what they call it when the chemicals get mixed together? I'll take it. No, no. Or it's like uh, oxygen and hydrogen, two gases, and they merge together and something new comes into existence called water. Um. And this then that comes together that mixture now is distributed in a wide variety of ways. But you see, he then says what this mix is, or compound is, you can now call it same and other. Now, see, it's because it's, he's now going to say that what this is made up of there is essentially two parts coming into existence as a third thing. But, uh, if you're going to call this same and call this one other, what a problem, don't you? Because uh, the word same means, has to mean, two things coming together. I mean, can you... Uh, can you mix salt with salt and get something new? Yeah. Why not? You lazy? Not different. What? Not different. Because see, the word same requires at least two things in a process. Right. So there's a puzzle about this. So I thought if we can just get to that section because right. there's something strange going on and uh, maybe worth taking a look at. Um, so, Right, I'm at 35, right on the head. And he made her of the materials and in the fashion which I shall now describe. Got it? Now, 
All I want uh, is just uh, um, four sentences. So we need someone to read it. You're up. Thank you. Go ahead, please. Midway between the being which is indivisible and remains always the same and the usia, which is transient and divisible in bodies, he blended a third form of being compounded out of the twain, that is to say, out of the same and the other. And in like manner he compounded it midway between that one of them which is indivisible and that one which is divisible in bodies. And he took the three of them and blent them all together into one form by forcing into union with the same by forcing the other into union with the same, in spite of its being naturally difficult to mix. Okay, finish the paragraph. Go ahead. Okay, and when with the aid of being he had mixed them and had made of them one out of three, straightway he began to distribute the whole thereof into so many portions as was meat, and each portion was a mixture of the same, of the other, and of being. Of Usia. See, the third thing comes in because the third thing, he mixes it with being. So you have same other and being. Would you agree? He uses the word same for this area that we just described. Is that true? Yes. It's absurd. Why? There are no two things in it. Because they're made one? It's only one thing. How can, how can it be called the same? Why do you say that it's always the same. Not me, him. No. Brad. Then why do you say there are not two things? Didn't Brad say you can't use the word same if you're trying to mix one thing together with one thing? You can't talk about them as having two different components? There's only one if you mix salt with salt. Is that what you said? Yeah. That convinced me. So it's a mistake, and, and, the, and, and, and uh, Plato is off the, his trolley, which is what we always expect. Right, Yanni? Well, ask the woman next to Miss. How can something that only has one thing be called the same. If it only has one component. But it's from time to time. It's through time. So what? I mean, yes, that's so true. So at time one, it's one. At time two, it's the same. At the question two. is whether he calls this same. That's all. Before, before the mixture, does he call that impartable usia the same? That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Does it make any sense according to Brad? Well, it's always the same. No, no, no. No, wait, wait, wait. Wait. If you mix salt with water 
then you have two different things. Okay, but you, but the salt remain it retains its own I particular. Agree with you, but you need two different thing. things: salt and, it, and water. And it could be separated. But, right, and then if they're now salty water, yeah. you have one thing made of two. Yes. Is that usia the first one, or is that pure? Check the check. It's not the first one. No, no. Check the text. What do you mean? Check what the text? Oh, not going to tell me anything about salt. <clears throat> okay. No, no, come on. I want to be clear about what you want me to check. I'm, I'm not. I'm not against it. Check it out. Check it where. Midway between the Lucia, which is invisible. Well, I already have an answer. I mean, Pardon? I was just. I was telling you, we were talking about midway between the Lucia, which is indivisible, yes. and therefore has no parts. Yeah. Right. And that his answer with respect to is it is it. Uh, two or one should be an easy answer. Is what two or one, Barbara? Lucia, that is impartable in life. Are we talking one. about the same that's prior to the mixture? We're okay. talking about the Lucia that is impartable and gets the name of same. Yes. Okay, and what's your question about that? Is it one, or can it, can it, is it two, and therefore can be called same? Is it two? Is it two? Yeah, this is all the examples so far that are about that anymore. I'm kind of wondering about your your, your your attitude and your direction, but go for it. Uh, my direction is to affirm that there are two things, and the same and the other. So I don't no, see no. I don't in see the what same. the problem is with the idea the, of there being two in the same. They have, well, the same is the name of the relationship between two things, same and other. How yeah, is two that? Things, they're two, same and other, right? But that's... Mm. I think what, if you read the sentence... Well, wait a minute, just for a second. Are they finished? Um, well, I don't... If, see, if you name something that is impartable, same, that the name of, to the, of the impartable thing is supposed to be a relationship between two things, right? And how is that Lucia, which is impartable, two things? Because you're giving that. No, I didn't claim there were two things. It, two anything, whether you call them no, things no, or was, not. If we're talking about what I was just saying, I was saying that. Same and other. other two. Thank you. I'm not talking about that. We are referring to why the impartable with Lucia could possibly qualify for the name same. The impartable Lucia, not the two of them. The impartable Lucia. By being the most brilliant kind of being and therefore being worthy of being described by that word most essentially? Or did you, were you looking for some other answer? I'm looking for an answer that has a comparison between two things in it. Since that is the foundation of the discussion. I'm thinking, I remember that Pierre's question was, does the same that exists prior to the mixture, is that one thing? Right? And my answer to that question is yes. Now, are we, is your question in some way related to that one? Because if that seems to be where your question about my direction came from, so I'm not sure. No, I, I say it's it one thing. It didn't come from that answer. Okay. It wouldn't have come from that okay. answer. Okay, okay. Then I'm not lost. <coughs> well, so your answer is that it's one. <laughs> the Lucia that exists prior to the mixture, the impartial Lucia, is one. Yes. And therefore, what do you do with the question that follows upon it? How can something that is one be called same? Oh, because because of the implication that same implies two things. Yeah. I, I think Plato's going in a nice direction. He's got this other thing, other. Right? And even if he's got the same and other separate, he then makes a blend out of them. Okay. Look. Mm -hmm. Read the read the first sentence over. The first okay. phrase really. Go ahead. Uh, midway between the yeah. being, mm -hmm. which is indivisible, and remains always the same. Ah, look her. 
always remains the same. Because it always remains the same, he calls it what? The same. Is that what it says? Yes, yes, he does. Yeah. You find that an interesting way to get a name for something? Since it is not the same. Why? Because it's been blended? It is not blended. He's only talking about one thing at that point, is he not? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, but why is it not the same? Please. You're on a different question. Watch. Is this the right way to read what he is saying in that first phrase? I am saying. It's one of the things he said. Well, is it, is the reasoning he is going through that since this osea is always remaining the same, he can now call it the impartable osea same. Unless I have further reason to disabuse myself of agreeing to that, I would say yes. Good, good, good. My with question. the proviso that he's saying other things too. Would you not agree that uh, anything that you can say always remains what it is? Uh, does that deserve the name Sam? Yep. Yeah, amongst a bunch of other nice names too, yes. Right? Indivisible. Look here. Is it likely to be you can find many things that you can say don't change. Huh. Um, no. Huh? I'd say there's a very few amount of things that you could find. Well, however many there are, I'm glad there are a few. Yeah. Would you say because they are few, they all can be called by the same name? Mm -hmm. Same. But you did agree yeah. that there are many. I was speaking loosely at that moment. Now, or even if there are only, <laughs> even if there are only a few. <laughs> right. I was trying to get it to be less and less. See, look here. Suppose we use light. <clears throat> light emanates to no end. Gravity always remains. Should we not call light and gravity by the same name? Call them both same? No. No. If you agree, that's rather curious. You now have my question, don't you? Agree? Yes. That's an interesting thing. Huh? Well, no, I just said that's interesting. If that is the criteria, that it always remains the same, then we should call those things the same. And if so, then anything meets that standard, we should give it the same name. Exactly so, yes. And I'm asking you, what do you think of oh, that as a criteria that? for giving something a name? Uh, not so wonderful. No, if we, if we want to name the thing, that isn't a good way to name it. By the way, is it possible that the Greek word for same can be translated in some other way? That is possible. What? That is possible, yes. Like horse? Like, like self. Like self. Oh. Oh. Well, no, but, that's, but why would we want to just reject the same? I reject we just the went self. through that. Well, look, you, if you're going to reject the same, you've got to reject other things like self-similar, you've got to reject the idea of identity. Pardon me, there's a big difference between same and similar. You don't want to go down that path. But sure I do. Huh? 
Are they related? Is salmon similar related? Of course they are, just as much as horses are to fleas. Okay. They are both living things. Are they functioning differently? Yes. The word similar is relationship between things that share the same dynamics, yet belong in different classes. That's where the use of the word similar occurs. Okay. So it's much different than the word same. Because same is... Because same can relate only to two, a minimum of only two things. Well, then you agree it's worth discussing the word same is same and not self. No, no. Now we want no. The only question we have is whether, well, before you shake your head no, why don't you let me finish? All right. I'm not shaking my head no. I'm just saying, if you want to replace same with self, we don't no longer need to be talking about whether or not same relates to things. Let's just talk about self. That's right. Take same out of the metaphysical That's right. universe and leave self. That's right. Yeah. Now, what does that do then, to this work? If you use this word, Instead of that, <coughs> then what is he calling usia? Impartable usia. So. So. I'm, well, my point is, though, that your idea that same has to relate to things. Well, do you know any other use of the I word see, same? I think I, I think I may be seeing what you're saying too. Hello. You want to call these two the same? Okay. Is there some basis for saying these two things are the same? Some basis. Yeah. <clears throat> well, How about, is this the same? As itself, <laughs> yes. You're no longer making a comparison, are you? <laughs> okay, okay. Now the question is, since it always can say, it always remains what it is, you don't need the word same. He's calling this Susia the same. He's not saying, well, it always remains what it is. He's giving it a rather curious name, and that's what we have been talking about. And to get out of that puzzle, I suggested, could there be another word for this? And someone, I forget who it was, <laughs> uh, said so. Then, what are the implications of that passage if we use this word rather than that? That's all. It might be very nice, but I'm saying <laughs> that it's, I can't, I can't do that, replace the word same with self and still appreciate why it is that this thing has a continuity through time and remains what it is. No doubt. As far as it does. No. That's right. I'll try it. That's right. Self. That's right. I, self can account for the continuity of all the parts of this thing no. with itself together, no. continuing through time. I don't want to say that that... There, there's any condition of sameness there? Pardon me. Sameness? If you use the word same, is the assumption of same, right? It's a comparative term. Yes or no? Same is a comparative term. Same is a comparative term. That's all. Yes. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. so, right. well, but the one is that? And there ain't two things in the, in the idea of the impartable to suggest two-ness. That's all. So my question is, it's just an if. Mm. Come on. Okay. What would follow in this passage if you use the word so? Come on. Look here. Our problem is, look here. He's going to define the nature of soul. Mm -hmm. If we're going to use that expression then would you agree that there's something curious about the idea of soul? Yeah. Inherent within it must be self. So. So. And the other ones too. And the well, the 
same terms. So I am suggesting what would happen if we go back and read that with the idea of self. Question, does it make any difference to you if you read it that way? That's all. So we go back once more. All right? Well, it would make a nice difference given the last dream we did. I don't know anything about dreams. Yeah. 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 The last dream represented yeah. the self and unlike and like. And yeah. Hmm. Um. Come on, what does it look like if you read that passage with that kind of a difference? That's all. Take a minute out, take a look. Well, I can read it out loud. Um. Midway between Lucia, which is indivisible and remains always the self, and the Usia, which is transient and divisible in bodies. He blended a third Usia, compounded out of the twain. That is to say, out of the self and the other. And in like there is actually the word form in that, Adon's third form. Um, Fine. Uh, and, okay, form. A third okay. form, Adon's of uh, Lucia, compounded out of the twain. That is to say, of the self and of the other. <clears throat> and the next thing in like manner, and with respect to selves, Barbara? And in like manner in compound. Kata, kata out, okay. kata outa, kata tauta, excuse me, mm -hmm. to avoid crassus. Mm -hmm. And with respect to cells, not in like manner, but, and with respect to cells, he compounded mm -hmm. it midway between the cells, which are an individual, and the, and the, is there one there? No. And one which is indivisible. And he took the three of the cells and he blent them all together into one form by forcing the other into union with the self, in spite of its being naturally difficult to mix. And when, with the aid of Usia, he had mixed I'm looking for a self here, but I don't see it. Yeah. Uh, them, and had made of them one out of three, straight away he began to distribute the whole thereof into so many portions as would meet, and, uh, and each of the cells, no, each portion was a mixture of self, self of the other, and the being. That's my best I can do. Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> so you have to read that again as if it made sense. I did. No, I liked your translation of that last, the self, which is even singular. Mm -hmm. See, this is not clear. Watch. If this is going to be called Usia, the impartable, or self, and this is called the partable, that is, you can break it up into parts, and it, this is called other. It's when you get these two together 
that becomes the third thing. <clears throat> Used to mix the two. <clears throat> Is that right? Yep. Yes, I'm not. John. It's either with it or by means of it. Um, no. This, this, this is it. No. <clears throat> and it's because. <clears throat> Those two things can be brought together that creates the third thing, which he calls being. In our text. Being <clears throat> or third form of being. Look. That means there are two kinds of self going on, fundamentally. Is that right? I'm not sure. Well, it's there. The unmixed and the mixed? The way he has it at first, they're separate. When they're brought together, a third thing is merges. With that third thing, you then mix this up. <clears throat> that takes on the name soul. Therefore, the soul has two aspects of self. <clears throat> well, so, uh, Offhand, uh, 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 do you apprehend the world, experience the world? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh, how do you do it? You you got a self that's doing it. I mean, look here. Do you have a self? Did you bring one with you? My very own? Yeah, do you have one? Yes or no? Uh, I don't know if I have it. You don't know? Well... What's the you when you say you no longer have it? Or you're no longer sure? What's the you? It's before the self. What, what? Before the self, or myself. When you're asked, do you have a self, and you say, I don't know. I don't know, right? What's the I that doesn't know? Uh, <coughs> if it's the self, yeah. What? Then it doesn't know. It's yeah. Got a self that doesn't know. And wait a minute. You also may have a self that ain't going around looking at everything. Is that right? Can you turn off all the experience? Would you be gone? Yeah then the self doesn't exist except in experiencing things. Or itself. And when you no longer experience things, you no longer have a self. Is that what you mean? Can it experience itself? You can't 
use just two words and leave them alone. Right. At this uh, point, you have to complete your sentence. <laughs> Look, try this. That's experience. Right? Is it possible? Is it possible that you have a self that is doing this experiencing? Think for a moment, one question. I'm wondering that I having a self. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So, the only question I'm asking, you see, is, is it conceivable that when you are no longer experiencing this stuff in the world, do you still have a self? Or does the self only come into existence for you to experience other things other than yourself? Yes. Yes means what? Only to experience other things. It only comes in when you're experiencing. By the way, have you ever uh, uh, had a dream? Oh, are there other times you have a dreamless sleep? I can daydream. Huh? Can Louder? Daydream? No, no. At night. Uh -huh. Are there ever, ever a time when you do not have a dream, but you are asleep? Yes. That's dreamless sleep, is it not? Yes. You're not experiencing anything, are you? You turned off all these things. And yet, is there still a self? I don't know about that. But it comes back in the morning quick as hell. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> right? Yes. So look here. So this is the next assumption. Hey, maybe, maybe there is something that is seeing all of this. But has no marks. It has no? Marks. Pure. Well, wait a minute, if that's true, you have two ideas of self here, don't you? The watcher and the self that watches. Is that right? What's the difference between them? If one watches, isn't that the watcher? Yeah. Well, Well, wait a minute. If you got a soul, you, it looks like you need those two things. Or you wouldn't be here experiencing either one, right? Now, are these, are these two ways in which self functions? Or is it functioning in one way? And the other it just is the watcher, simple, pure. But wait a minute, that suggests there are two different kinds of self. Oh, this is what we're saying. Is that right? So the watcher would be the pure one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The self. And the one that's get engaged in all kinds of other things. 
Like, would you agree the word other is perfect for one reason? Have you ever experienced anything that was identical with yourself? Once. What? Once. Do it again? Yes. Never? One, one time. Once. Yeah. Oh, then you became that thing and gave up yourself. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, kind of. No, no, not kind of. Well, I don't know if I became the other thing or it was a blending of both. But if they're both, they're two things there. There was at one point. Then it's not identical. No, and then, it, and then there was one. That's right. There may be a oneness to it, but it ain't a one, a pure one. No, you're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because there was still something watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait. Yeah. So, would you find this curious? <laughs> <laughs> well, you tripped over that one, didn't you? <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait. It was so, like, what would happen, you see, if someone went around like my Uncle Louis, and while all this stuff is going around, he's always asking, what the hell is this? That's watching it all. And, that represents thinks, it also thinks. So what is it that thinks and dreams? and looks, and watches, and hears. You would say, I'm glad you called on me. Go ahead. So, the, the self and the first hypothesis? I don't know anything about that stuff. Okay. What was the question? Yeah, I, I, I'm very forgetful. That dreams and things. Yeah, so. I, I'm very forgetful, so mm -hmm. just stay with the logic of this. Where does it go? That it, it is the self that thinks and dreams. That's mm -hmm. the self. Look, if you're stuck at all, you know what you can do. Call on Brian. Mm -hmm. He's got glasses. He was doing well. He was doing okay? <laughs> you pass. But he doesn't like the... Do you like the conclusion you reached? I'm uh, internalizing it. I'm uh, comparing it to my own experience. I'm uh, relating it to my own experience. Pardon me. Yes or no? What's internalizing? It sounded like a good word. What is it? It's an evasion. What is it that is internalizing? So going back, what difference does it make if we use the idea of self in this several sentences that start here at 34. That's all we're doing. Now, the Balboas let me know, so if you want to get mad at anybody, we can always get mad at them. They're not here. <laughs> well, if you have... If and, you have he, and he says, there's a whole bunch of things like that word self in there that ain't translated that way, but with the use of the word same. Or itself. And there's a, would you agree there's a difference between itself and self? Yeah, there. But one last point. Would you agree, whatever you experience, instinctively you're going to say, I know one thing, it is different from myself.
Like, look around. Would you agree? There's one thing we can agree about. Whatever you experience ain't yourself. Unless you're experiencing yourself. That's right. If that's possible. Right. So leave it alone for a moment. Right? Would you agree? The word other fits greatly here. Because all you face is the self and others. That's why he uses other in this section with self. Self and other. No. You know, I, I'm still struggling with this oh, look. rejection. Look, you're absolutely right. Look here. The whole thing is... Okay. But still, like, we use words like heterogeneous and homogeneous. Of right? course I like, would. What I'm wondering is why doesn't self and same, as far as we're mystically and metaphysically concerned, have equal weight, right? Like, what I feel like we're doing here is we're Hinduizing this system, and it's not a Hindu system, right? Like... That they couldn't think that way. We get the word homogeneous from the Greeks, right? We get the word heterogeneous from the Greeks. Yeah. And for me, homo, oneness, same, similar, are all part of the same class. Of course. And therefore, it shouldn't be dropped. But, but they all have the root of becoming genius. By the way, because, because they're in the same class doesn't mean there are, there are not significant differences. Yeah. Okay. Um, but aren't their samenesses more important? Same? Oh, no. Look, look here. Or look both. here. Look, look here. Formally, in, in a formal language, um, in analogy, these two have to belong to the same class. When you are comparing it with another ratio, hey, in the same class, the word similar occurs here. That's where the word similar appears. They are not the same. I'm with you. Therefore, the word similar is specifically different than the use of the word same. Okay. As well as like and unlike are relational terms that presuppose a tunus. So when I say same presupposes a tunus, at least, it comes out of formal discussions of such a thing as the structure of an analogy. Okay. But how about, so, but, so you're saying that similar can be ranked lower than the idea of same, hierarchically. Lower? Yeah, like, it, can they be ranked? Can they be ranked? Let me, let me step back and ask. Can those Not ideas? lower, no. To find what is common between two different ratios belonging to the same class means you have to see how and why they are similar. If I say a ruler is to his subjects as a captain is to his crew, that requires me to look at it and say, what is similar? between these two sets, not the same. So I have to fish and say, well, they both have knowledge. Uh, they both use their knowledge uh, in their particular art. Uh, right, I can now specify in what way I can talk about them being similar, not the same. Therefore, there's a fundamental difference between same and so on and likeness. <laughs>
But what about identity? Pardon? What about identity? Identity only takes place when the terms you use are homogeneous. Becoming. In analogies, you can have terms or ideas, numbers, lines, right, and symbols. When you use number, you are using a class of entities that belong in the same class, therefore they're homogeneous. In which case you can talk about not similar, <clears throat> but identical. What's identical in the two is one half. Therefore, I cannot say because these two are functioning in a similar way, they are identical. <coughs> identical, therefore, in analogies, when they're using homogeneous terms, allow the use of the word identity, which is not allowed when they're heterogeneous terms. And the self, the hmm? self, is off the page. Is that what you're saying? I don't, if I forgot. <laughs> That's enough. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> so now, the Balboas yeah, uh, <laughs> are going to send me some copies and I'll be able to sell them. Yeah. <clears throat> going to be down Huntington Beach at the beach <laughs> selling these at copies. The at the drum circle. <clears throat> At the, at the drum circle. <laughs> <laughs> and I caught it. And here, here, that dream that Liliana had. Pardon? That dream that Liliana had shows self and her concern about self and yeah. being unlike yeah. and other. Yeah. She didn't want to be other than herself. Yeah, I just want to be other than herself. The hell with mother. That's and right. Papa. And Papa, too. Better to be herself. Yep. That's a nice struggle, isn't it? Yep.